So welcome everyone. Um, it's it's really great to uh, have every one of you here today. So my name is Nobunita, and I have my co-host today, Devraj, with me. So hello both everyone. Of us, uh, so both of us will talk about and walk you through today uh, on how you can leverage the Zoho One suite of application for professional services business. Now, before we get started, uh, let me give you a little bit backgrounder. We are actually very, very excited uh, about this webinar today. We do organize webinars every week, and uh, this one is very much special uh, because uh, we, we have been working with quite a few professional services company. If you look at that, Golden Lion also is a professional services company. And from that point, uh, we see that the business process of a professional services company is uh, quite a bit different than our traditional company who's possibly selling products, who's possibly selling fixed rate service, right? So our team has been working on this solution relentlessly for last three, four months. And we have created this beautiful solution on top of a Zoho One suite of application where um, you can match, map a lot of your business processes. In fact, all of your business processes under one login. So let's get started. So in today's uh, webinar, we will see how you can kind of map and track uh, the most important processes of your business, that is pre-sales, your delivery process, your post-delivery process, and your community outreach. So under pre-sales, we'll see how you can leverage Zoho One for lead capturing, lead nurturing, uh, manage all your appointments, because uh, most of the time we see in the professional services business, there's a lot of appointments, basically. You have to meet your customers on a regular basis. And, and that's true for pre-sales as well as delivery as well. So we'll see how you can do end-to-end -end sales funnel management. You can generate beautiful proposals. You can generate invoices. And in the delivery part, we'll see how you can do your project management, how you can deliver your projects successfully and efficiently, how you can do timesheet management. And in the post-delivery part, once you hand over the product to your customers, how you can collect customer feedback that possibly you could display on your website as a testimonial, or uh, you can kind of take a lesson from that and then improve your uh, business process accordingly. And you can also how you can handle your customer support and handholding. And in the community outreach part of it, we'll show you how you can do event management on uh, with Zoho One suite of applications. So uh, let's get started. Now, before we get into the system and exactly show you that uh, how uh, we have kind of stitched together all these uh, applications and created a solution for you um, to manage your professional services business, uh, let us first take a look at how professional services uh, as a business is a little bit different than our traditional business models, right? So. Professional services is a B2B business model. It You have unique sales opportunities. No two sales opportunities are exactly similar, right? There could be a standardized opportunities. However, when it comes to um, kind of offering a solution, it's always, always tailored, almost always tailored to your customer's unique need. And then we have a relatively longer sales cycle here where there are multiple touch points. It's not just people see a product and they buy it. You have to craft a solution in most of the cases. So there's multiple touch points with a longer sales cycle. And another difference is it's not you don't have to kind of uh, sh share across a simple quotation. It's a more nuanced, more detailed proposal that you are you, are, you have to kind of share in your pre-stage, uh, uh, pre sale stage. And then the project management is of vital importance. It's uh, equally, in fact, it's more important than closing a sales. You can close a sale and after that, if you cannot manage your project properly, you lose your reputation, you lose money. And then we see in the professional services business, a lot of time you have hourly billing model. Some productized services possibly you could have a flat rate, but most professional services company, at least some of the components would be in the hourly billing model. And then you have 
have this post delivery support part of it which is again is vital important vitally important and most of the time you will see from this uh, post delivery requests you are getting your new opportunities so we have considered all this point while building this solution for you so in the next step we'll show you how you can use zoho and sort of application to bring all this business processes under one login and actually that's the beauty of the whole and sort of applications you see so uh, a lot of time we see you are possibly using the best possible solution for mapping your marketing mapping your sales process management mapping your support but they become uh, islands of excellence uh, your information sits in silos but when you bring everything thing together under the zoho and suit of apps um, you have a very much consolidated uh, a very much centralized um, in data repository so now my colleague uh, devraj will take us through the zoho one uh, solution and we will see how basically we can um, you know map all of your business processes under one uh, solution so devraj i'll just be go ahead and make you presenter Thank you so much, Navonita, for this wonderful introduction. So, for a professional service company, it's all start with promoting your service, right? You have to offer to your client, and for that, you have got your website, right? And where you can showcase all your service that you have to offer. And people, after visiting your website, they can inquire about the different services that you have uh, listed out there. And now, in terms of capturing inquiry, there could be various ways of doing that. so you can set up a chatbot in your website and these are recent trend that is going on it means you can see in almost every website you have a chatbot right so where a kind of artificial sales agent can interact with your visitor on behalf of you and also can do the initial qualification right so let me just show you a part of that so over here in this website you can see there is a chatbot where you can initiate a chat and a kind of artificial intelligent can initiate the chat and interact with that visitor okay so she is typing and i can see okay she is asking are you looking for any specific service over here or not so maybe he is looking for a website web designing and look she is replying that can you please share your company name so in this way uh, this artificial intelligence can do the initial qualification and capture that inquiry right inside your crm okay or simply you can have a contact us form over here and through that uh, kind of that particular visitor can leave that inquiry over here let me just fill up that portion raj pay service limited and let me just put my email to raj and to it consulting.com so this is the number okay with all the information and i put so it's belong to a kind of uh, professional services right uh, interested in suppose web designing and development okay and he clicks on submit so now with this if i go back to crm over here so i will be able to see that i got a lead uh from the website okay so I, as i can see debraj from ray consultancy service private limited has left an inquiry right and i can see the lead sources website so immediately you will get a notification about this that he, hey you got a lead from the website so you can log into your crm and you can see okay so uh, someone has uh, debraj has inquired about website development right and also automatically uh debraj if he kind of go back to his inbox he will be getting a kind of a email where he can book his slot right for a kind of for discussing about the requirement more in details right so for a online meeting uh can he can book a slot right so from here he can just book that a slot over here so let me just click on this okay so from here he can uh, book this consultation service and uh, let me just see if i've got a kind of suppose on may 2 on 5:30 am 
kind of he can book a slot the Raj email ID elanconsulting.com he puts his number and kind of completes booking the slot okay and he clicks on confirm so he can also add this to his calendar so that he doesn't forget about this particular uh, meeting okay so when I come back to the CRM over here I'll be able to see that the first appointment has been booked okay so I can go to my calendar and I will be able to see that on that he has booked kind of okay he has booked a, a kind of a, a, a meeting with us right so over here as you can see uh, kind of in whatever time zone the client books right we, uh, means from the system you'll be able to see that particular event in your own time zone that's the beauty of this okay so now what I can do you can send him a meeting link for this particular meeting okay if I go back to the lead I'll be able to schedule a meeting from here so I uh, meeting with Debraj and agenda is discussion on website development uh, just on me one so pm And I can put the participant as the branch over here. And I can schedule that part of it from here. Okay. And this meeting link, I can send it to the, to the branch. Okay. So from here, I will be able to send him my email. Thanks for booking. Here is the meeting link. So in this way, you can you can you can schedule an online meeting with your uh, customer and take it forward. Now suppose you had the meeting with Debraj, and and the meeting with went brilliant, right? And you feel like okay, uh, he's really interested, and I can take it forward in the sales pipeline. So at that point, what you can do, you can just mark this lead as kind of interesting. Okay, so over here in the lead status, what you can do, you can mark him as interested and you can save that lead so what happens when you kind of uh, kind of update a lead as interested automatically that leads get converted into account the company and a contact the contact person from that company and also it creates a deal that's a new opportunity for you from the branch right. okay so now if i go to the deal so right. most often uh, uh, we have seen in that in professional services business, as, as I was telling you in the very beginning of, of this uh, uh, meeting, that in, in, in most of the time the sales cycle is longer and there are multiple touch points. Possibly you have first uh, a requirement gathering session. Then possibly you have a feedback session. Then you have a solution uh, planning session. Uh, and finally, you, you reach a point where you are ready to submit a proposal. Uh, so and, and oftentimes we have seen that it's uh, a little bit difficult to keep track of all the stages uh, at all the time. Right. 
so let's say if you are a sales agent and you have like 10 deals that you are working on it becomes difficult to keep track and it's even more difficult for the sales manager or uh, for the higher management of the company to keep track exactly where this is so we have created the system keeping this in mind so that the system prompts you in terms of updating exactly where this deal stands so as you can see just below current state contacted and transition is there so this is the next step whether you have completed the meeting or not and as you follow the step the system prompts you towards um, the next step next step next steps in the sales journey so Debraj if you could just go ahead and show us uh, how beautifully we can transition into the sales cycle sure sure so now that you have completed the meeting right you can just mark it over here uh, and suppose uh, the meeting went really great and he is asking for a solution okay. and you can click on save now in order to provide the complete solution uh, the kind of the uh, the products that will be required right so that you can just update that over here so if I edit this deal over here down below you have got all the product details required to complete the solution uh, and offer to him so you can add over here suppose so it's a website development is required okay and suppose you will be uh, charging him suppose at a rate of suppose twenty dollar right you can you can manage that in in multiple currencies right currently we have only the usd so you can manage that in multiple currencies and suppose uh, uh, near about uh, 300 hours is required to do the complete development. Okay, so along with this, maybe a kind of uh, over here, uh, kind of con uh, content marketing is also required. Okay, and that you can charge him maybe at $18 uh, per hour, per hour, right? And over here, maybe near about uh, 100 hours is required, right? so with this you can just kind of click on save so now you have added the product so kind of unless and until you complete your kind of a to-do task right means you won't be able to kind of proceed to the next step right so over here i click on um over here and click on this checklist yes i have added the products so now i click on yes and click on save Right. So now it's time for designing a solution. Right. So suppose you have designed the solution. OK. And you have a, a, you can upload the com kind of company logo. Right. Everything. And suppose you have done that and you click on save. OK. And now you have prepared the solution map. Right. Probably you can set up a meeting and you can just walk him through uh, through the complete solution map. Right. So so suppose you have done that. And, and he really liked the solution map, right? So he really liked it. And looking for a proposal for this. Okay. So now you click on save. Okay, so what you can do now, you can, in one click, you can generate the proposal. And in professional services, I have seen that uh, proposals are very much important. Uh, I mean, the way you present your proposal can make or break a deal, right? So it's not only have to have all the important details, um, all the uh, information about how you can kind of stitch together a solution. It consists of a kind of solution planning. It consists of the project schedule. It consists of, um, uh, your, of course, uh, the financials and terms and conditions. But more importantly, it also have to be very much presentable and very much professional in nature. So this is why what we have done is we have um, kind of have used one of Zoho's applications, Zoho Writer, to create this beautiful uh, kind of um, proposal template within the system that you can modify and kind of create a really professional looking um, uh, proposal. 
in a very very little time so uh devraj i believe our proposal is ready um, sure. yes yes so before i send the proposal you can uh, let us review the proposal once right, right. so I'll, from here i will be able to click this button and open that particular proposal over here so let me just see okay now my proposal is ready okay and now and it's this proposal you can see yeah. yeah exactly 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 and look it it, it has a kind of a, taken the company name today's date and it is telling about your company over here right and on the fly you can just make some kind of adjustments over here in the project definition in the website sitemap everything you, you can just edit that it is completely editable right and if i scroll down you can see all the project scope and over here what is the work breakdown structure so where what is required so the website is design development and the content marketing and this is the amount that you are charging to the client right so now so my proposal is ready so it's time for sending that proposal so Any that you can do... that you make in the template is automatically saved you don't exactly. have to do anything you can just make the changes over there it gets saved and you can send it from here yes that's exactly. what to you exactly okay so now you can send this proposal just by one click over here okay and uh, the, and and you can now follow up with the customer, right? In order to get that proposal signed, right? Uh, so from here, you will be able to kind of send the proposal to the customer for e-signature also, and get it, get the proposal electron electronically signed by the customer. So suppose uh, uh, just uh, means you talk to him uh, regarding the proposal, and he said that need need some time to reevaluate. Re it's some time to value it on that portion. Okay. So now if I, if I go back to my email, let me just see whether I've got, okay, I can see that I have got an email from Goldfish that he, it is asking me to sign that proposal, right? So the customer means Debraj can click over here and start signing that portion. A review and sign, basically. Exactly, exactly. And I click on proceed to the document. Okay, I can see, I can review the complete proposal over here. Okay. I can see everything and I can agree to the terms and condition over here and I can agree and continue. I can and put all the this information you can kind of yeah. put uh, exactly. in over here. Yeah, great consultancy service. That as a business, you can use this information for uh, your billing purpose, actually. Your, your invoicing purpose, the company name, uh, billing address, and everything, so you can collect in, in a very easy manner for, like this. Exactly. And I'm just putting the mandatory part over here. And then the email, or just click on the email. Okay. And then so, send an email if I this is on my signature, and I can click on my signature part over here. The branch. Choose this as my signature, and I can do that. Maybe I can click on finish this portion. Okay, so now I have signed, and I can download this uh, kind of for my reference, and I can also email that into my inbox, right? Let me just email that to my inbox. In case you do not have you do not have the process of signing a contract or anything, you can bypass this part also. You can simply directly send the uh, proposal from the uh, CRM itself. You don't need to send it for um, uh, signing on all. Exactly. So I, I can see that I have got that particular document kind of for my reference in my inbox that I have I've signed, right? Mm -hmm. Over here. OK, I can see that I have signed that. And if I go back to the CRM over here, so 
this data takes up a, a three, four seconds time to get synced. Yep. So it will just refresh it. And I can see that it has come over here as attachment. OK, so I can see that portion. So it has been signed by the customer. OK, so perfect. So now uh, kind of I have uh, I mean, the customer has signed the proposal. So now it's time for raising an invoice. OK, right. so that so I can do. Yep. Right. Go ahead. So if you can notice over here that we are raising an invoice. Um, so the moment I click on raise an invoice, I'm basically accessing the Zoho Finance Suit, Zoho Books. Uh, but I don't need to uh, kind of log out of my CRM or jump from my CRM into Zoho Books. It has been integrated with the CRM itself. And you can find the Zoho Finance module in the related list, actually. And um, the best thing is that if, if due to this integration, you can kind of log into your CRM and access every other Zoho application right from the CRM itself and kind of uh, you can manage all of your work in one single window. So exactly. yeah, I'm sorry for kind of jumping in. Please go ahead. Thank you so much for complimenting. In OK, so and over here, if I go to the site, as Navunita told in over here, you got the Zoho finance module, right? Uh, that's nothing but it's the instance of the Zoho books only, right? You have got right. inside CRM. OK, and from here, I can see that the invoice got generated automatically. OK, and you can just edit that invoice and look whether, whether everything is all right and it's ready to send to the customer. So, yes, I can see, OK, the website de design development, content marketing and everything I can see is all perfect. And so I can if say the tax component, you can kind of um, add the tax component also uh, for yeah. different countries. You can configure different uh, tax uh, as per the country's norms uh, and the CIM kind of invoice is generated accordingly. Exactly, exactly. And now I can see it's ready. You can leave a customer note if you want and or a terms and conditions and it's ready to send to the branch, right? And I click on save and send. OK, so now that you have sent the invoice to the customer, if I go back to the deal over here. So now for that particular invoice, I will be able to tr kind of track uh, the uh, kind of the payments over here. If I go back, I have the Zoho Finance module over here. So just one minute, let me just find out the particular invoice. Raj. Just one minute. Okay. Just one. It, it takes at times. It takes some time to sync over here in the finance module, as it's a different module that we're using. But over there in that particular invoice, I will be able to take kind of record the payments, and what it will do, it will kind of update back into the. CRM over here, right? Means uh, as and when I up the kind of uh, track the payments, I'm receiving the payments uh, from the customer, right? It will update over here in the balance due portion over here. Right. Right. So now, as I can see, I have got the payment also, right? So what what we can do, we can we can now kind of uh, go for the projects, right? Means we can we can start at the execution part. We can start over here, right? We can we can we can just uh, select a project over here. Uh, Debraj, if you can just sure, yeah, yes, please go ahead. No, please go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So I I can just uh, choose a template from here, and I can just click on save. Okay. So it's time for means kind of for the execution part, right? Means you need to develop a kind of a deliver the project to the client. Right. And for that, right. you need to follow for kind of a, a kind of a accomplish multiple tasks. Right. And for right. that, you can assign that to the different team members who are assigned for that particular project. 
So depending on the type of project that is, uh, so for example, this is our website development um, and design project. So accordingly, you, uh, most often, basically depending on the type of task, depending on the type of service, you have a set of tasks that you have to complete, right? So we have, what we have done, we have kind of created uh, some of your kind of uh, all, all the tasks that uh, standards that you have to create in a template format. You can assign this task to your different team members. If you want, you can also add a new task or remove some task from here, depending on the individual project. So it basically saves you a lot of time instead of uh, sitting there and creating all the tasks for the entire project. So if you have got a template, some predefined tasks, you can just review them, uh, modify, uh, add or remove some, and then you can get started from there. So you can kind of go through the task and then keep on assigning this task to your different team members and then just get started over there. Uh, so Devraj, if you can kind of uh, show us how we can manage this part of it. Exactly. This is one of the most vital part of any, any professional services company. Exactly. So as you can see, the kind of for this particular project, the different tasks got created automatically, right? And where you can assign to the different team members from here, right? Means for this particular task, suppose this particular user is responsible, and if it if it has got a strict timeline, you can kind of uh, add the date also. Okay, over here. Okay, for this. So in this way, you can keep on adding, uh, kind of uh, assign assigning the task to the different team members, and they will get notification about this. So they can log in from their system. And, and what they can do, they can they can see what are the tasks they have been assigned, and against those tasks, whatever the hours they have spent, they can just add that over here, right? Suppose for this particular task, they have kind of uh, spent suppose four hours, right? And it can, they can add that. So in this way, uh, kind of uh, the means kind of each and every uh, kind of a user can just log the hours against the task they have been assigned. And what you can do at the end of the day, you can kind of generate a timesheet for that, because based on that, you will be billing to your client, right? So, so in case you are you are you, you could be sending the weekly timesheet, daily timesheet, or monthly timesheet, or kind of generate this timesheet for a custom date period or the entire project span. So, however, you kind of uh, you are used to sharing the timesheets uh, with them, and more Im importantly, you can take a screenshot over here, and you can also download these timesheets in a Excel format or, or CSV format, so that way you can share it across with your customers, and they can have a very good idea. Of very transparent idea how much time you have spent doing what and all the notes that you keep taking uh, while logging the time that also get imported in your excel sheet so you can add a lot of colors to it for each of the tasks you can add a lot of details to it exactly exactly so now as you can see that you can you can just uh, generate a timesheet by user right by the time means by means weekly or monthly or for the overall project span Right, and you can find whatever the hour still date has been consumed. Right. So now, as kind of uh, suppose the project has been delivered, right, and kind of if I go back to the deal, okay, over here, so I can I can I can just kind of mark it as suppose that the project has been delivered over here, and I can mark it as save. So as now the project has been delivered, you can. It, it's time for kind of taking feedback from the customer, right? Means how means whether they really liked the, your service or not. Means that is very important, right? Uh, right, after, absolutely. Exactly. So means it, it, it keeps on motivating your team, right? Means when when you get good feedbacks from the customers, that really motivates your team. And you can also kind of display these feedbacks on your website as testimonials. And exactly. trust me, in marketing, nothing works uh, um, as much as testimonials. It's it's the best marketing that you can do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So right from your CRM system, you will be able to do this portion. Right. Right. So over here in the uh, kind of the related list, you have got a kind of a uh, survey portion where you can send this survey to the client, and you just click the feedback form, and click here to submit your feedback. Okay. 
and I click on insert. Feedback so over here, feedback. And you will be able to send this to your to the branch. Right. So now I can see over here that uh, you, you have sent the survey to the branch and he's yet to respond. Okay. So now let me just go back to my email. So I got a kind of a feedback form that I can click over here. And I can just quickly submit the feedback. So I'm really, very satisfied, 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 satisfied. And over here for extremely satisfied. OK, uh, yes, yes. And I'm extremely satisfied. And I click on Submit. Okay, so now here, as Devraj has submitted his feedback, if I go back to the CRM, I will be able to see that. Right. Yep. Look, he has responded. So right from here, I will be able to view the response. And for all this, all this uh, information that you are kind of getting back in your system, that could be your survey feedback, that could be, um, that could be a say a signed contract, whatever you are receiving within the system, you will get the internal notification every time that okay, you have got a feedback, okay, you have got a signed contract. So every single thing you look for this, you will be getting internal notification. Either you can choose either via email or via a pop up or uh, you can choose both. So uh, there is no way you can miss out on any of these steps. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So now that you have got your feedback, right? So it means uh, kind of after that, it means kind of it comes over here that post kind of means after you have delivered, you have got the feedback comes the support part, right? In terms of means whatever the service they have taken from you, right? They can, they can, can come back to you for the support part. And for that also, right. you, you have a solution over here. So if I go back to the website, you have kind of over here, you can see there is a bulb icon over here. If you click that, so you have got a complete portal for that where customer can reach out, a kind of a kind of go through multiple articles that you have already kind of uh, populated over there. They can they can do those self learning from from their side, right? And you can learn about means if they are facing any issue, they can go through this article and get it resolved, right? And still, if they are having any kind of uh, kind of a uh, kind of specific issue about their product, right? So they can add that as a ticket over here, okay? Right. So I can, yeah, let me just add that as a ticket. Ibraj, chillineconsulting.com. And suppose they are using website development, and suppose maybe they are facing issue in loading, a loading issue, maybe. And if, if they have got a screenshot for that, they can also attach that over here and click on Submit. OK, and I can see that the ticket has been created. So if I go back to the CRM over here, and I will be able to see that Debraj has kind of submitted a ticket over here, OK? So loading issue, OK, I can see. Right, and right from this interface, I, I will be able to reply him back that thank you for your email, please. It's allow us some time to get it resolved. And 
here i will be able to i will be able to kind of reply back to him right from here so now as you can see that from one single interface right you are able to manage your kind of a sales pipeline you are able to kind of uh, raise in or kind of generate proposal, get it signed by your customer, kind of raise invoice, and then manage the execution part, the project, get it delivered, taking feedback from the customer, and also finally also kind of managing the support part, right? So right, right from one single system. So that's so the beauty. Get a kind of three sixty degree uh, uh, solution. <laughs> You you get so uh, end to end business process. Um, uh, you you can manage right from the time you're capturing the lead till the time you're delivering the closing the deal, delivering the project, get feedback, and then support. Right. Exactly. So another thing that we have discussed in the very beginning that possibly uh, could be a very good lever uh, is your event management. So uh, I have seen pro in our experience, professional services companies keep on organizing different types of events. This could be targeted towards a larger audience group. This could be targeted towards uh, your leads. It could be targeted towards your existing customers. Um, this could be paid events, free events, online events, offline events, whatever kind of events that you organize you need to kind of manage it. You need a ticketing system from where people can purchase those tickets. Even if free, then they can register for this event. So display the information about this event, right? So for that, you can use Zoho Max. It's a beautiful system. Let's you create a landing page for each one of your events in a Zofi. And you can add those landing pages on your website also. Uh, more often than not, if you can kind of keep organizing this kind of online and offline events, uh, um, the, the, considering the situation these days more online than offline, <laughs> but possibly in the near future, we'll, we'll be back in a position where we uh, start meeting each other offline. So whatever kind of events that you organize, you can manage it with backstage. So uh, Debraj, right. if you could please uh, let, take a look. Right. Exactly. So oh, through this, you will be able to quickly create a kind of a landing page for your event, right? And you can just promote that in your website. So let me just get into this. So if I, if I go into this, so we're, oh, over here, you can able to manage the branding, you can manage the speakers who will be kind of talking. So you, 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 suppose you are hand, kind of organizing a conference, right? And who will be the speakers, everything you will be able to manage that. And let me just show you this micro site. And it doesn't take much time, it, kind of it, it, in one hour, two hour, you can build this micro site and you can and make it live, right? So over here, I can see, okay, this is the kind of uh, the event and where I can see there is an option to buy ticket and uh, can only six days left where you can see the complete event description. These are our speakers and you will be able to see their profile. OK. And see and kind of in, on what topic they are going to talk. I will be able to see right from here. Right. And the complete agenda I will be able to see right from here. OK. So let me just kind of buy a ticket from here. And this can be a paid ticket or you can keep it as a free, right? So over here, we have kept it as a free. Okay, so suppose one ticket is required and I click on continue. And I put suppose Mohit. Her wall has kind of inquired, uh, is kind of buying a ticket let me just put his email address mohit agarwal at richelineconsulting.com and i put his mobile number and backstage offers a lot of payment gateway integrations as well so if exactly. it's paid event so you can quickly integrate it with any of the popular payment gateways exactly and i click on continue uh, my ticket purchase is successful, right? So now if I go back to CRM, you'll be able to see um, th for that particular event, number of people who has kind of opted for the uh, spot, right? If I go back over here, I will be able to see that. Just one minute.
So at any given point in time, let's say somebody calls you up, some of your uh, well, existing customer or uh, somebody who had a talk with you, didn't convert it at the end. So you can just pull up their contact and see your entire history, not only the email exchanged, uh, not only the proposals that were sent, but also uh, all of the events that they may have participated. So that way you have a concrete idea that how much interested this person really is. If he's a existing customer, that's good. If it's not, then you know that, okay, this guy is really interested. So you can push it a little bit more and you can kind of close that deal. Exactly. So it, 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 at times it take, takes some time to sync with the CRM, right? And let me just tell you, means when they have kind of uh, booked uh, that particular uh, kind of event from here, from the e book uh, means kind of the event page, for this particular event, you'll be able to see all that in this, who has booked. Oh, okay, I can see Mohita Garwal has kind of, okay. So here is the contact, Mohita Garwal, who has kind of uh, bought that ticket. And over here, I can see for this particular event he has booked, okay. So this is how you'll be able to manage the community part, right? Right. Yeah. And last but not the least, the system comes with a, a tremendous amount of uh, power in terms of offering you the business analytics. Now that you are kind of housing all your data in one place, it's centralized, the data is readable. You can create beautiful dashboards and reports out of it, which are very powerful. So I uh, will just take you through some of the reports. So these are the dashboards that you can see in the home page of the system when you log in. So if I start from the very beginning, it's the revenue this month. So you can see all your major accounts and this month, which account is giving you how much revenue you can see at a glance. It's a very powerful metric. You can see which account is the most valuable one for you, right? So that way you can divert your priorities. You can kind of um, um, offer the, the real, real royal treatment to your customers. And uh, the, just beside that, you can see that, again, uh, it's another very, very crucial metric closing this month. So you can see these are the deals that I am closing this month. You can see the projected value of these deals. So this not only help your salespeople focus and prioritize, it helps your accounts people to kind of forecast the money inflow this month. It helps your management to understand. So um, a very, very powerful metric. Now, if I go down a little bit, I have here deals by stage and leads uh, by lead stage. Again, this gives you a bird's eye view, uh, overview of uh, exactly how your sales funnel is looking right now. So any point in time you see in a particular stage, uh, the number of deals are less. So you know, okay, this, has, this is where I, I need to work on. I need to kind of uh, fine tune, streamline this process. Same goes for lead status. You can see how many leads are contacted, not contacted, and you can kind of filter this out by day, week, months, uh, however you want. Now, if I go down a little bit over here i have leads by industries and a revenue comparison in this month versus previous months now lead by industries in any professional services um, company if you are catering to multiple industries it's very important uh, for you to kind of find your sweet spot uh, to find the um, area find those industries which are uh, which you have the most um, hold on right so if you if you look at this you would be able to see that okay which are the industries industries from where I'm getting most leads. So you, you can kind of then um, see, identify, okay, this is something that is working from me for me. And then you can kind of uh, put more focus into it. And if you see there's some industries which you want to target, but you are getting less leads from those industries, then you know that, okay, I need to put more effort into it. And similarly, you can see here the revenue comparison this month versus previous month. This, again, is a very powerful metric. Give you an idea about exactly how you're performing this month, exactly revenue-wise, uh, how much a good uh, in comparison, uh, how much more that you are going to earn this month. So if I if I kind of go down a little bit over here, uh, again, another very powerful metric is project-wise task status. A lot of time we see in a in a uh, professional services company, um, you you close the deal, but if you cannot really add that value in the in the delivery stage, that it, it, then um, you are at risk of losing your reputation, right? So. 
it's very really important that you are always on top of the tasks that are there. So over here, you can see all of your projects and in which projects, how many tasks are due. And if you want, you can filter this out by each project and then each um, um, uh, each team member wise as well. So if you can go down a little bit, uh, Devraj, you can scroll down. So here you can see the team member wise occupancy in each of the tasks. So you can select the project name over here and then select the milestone name. And you can see exactly how many team members are working on this, how many tasks they all have due at their end. So that not only helps you in terms of visualizing the project health, but also lets you see the occupancy of your team members. So if you have a new task coming up, you know whom to give this task to, who have the bandwidth, so you can better manage your resources. So if you can go down a little bit, I, I think I have a last two reports, the ticket creation trend and resolved and unresolved ticket. Again, this again is, is a really um, uh, kind of uh, gives you a lot of insight into your support functionality. So ticket creation trend, you can see how many uh, kind of support ticket has been lodged in, in last three day, 30 days in last week. You can kind of filter it out and you can see accordingly. Then that way you can see that how uh, well your systems are uh, working, where are the areas where possibly you need to fine tune and uh, fine tune and add more focus into it, right? And over here, you can see resolved and unresolved tickets by agent. So again, that gives you an overview of how your support agents are performing, how fast they are closing the tickets, how many tickets they have closed in like say six months, one week, one month, one quarter. So that way you can better gauge their uh, performance. So these are the overview. These are the most important business critical reports that you can see in the dashboard. Except for that, there are tons of reports that you can build. Uh, basically, as you have all the um, information centralized in one place, creating reports become super easy uh, and, and the best part of this home page is that you are getting a complete view across all departments right right so the support the project the sales everything at one single page and for your team members who possibly do not need to see all this information you can always create different roles and profiles create different permission level and kind of restrict that uh, data visibility so if somebody is uh, from sales team doesn't need to see uh, the support ticket trend so you can that's restrict right. that visibility at that's any right. point in time so that's it with that this was uh, the uh, entirety of the Zoho One solution that we have built on professional services companies. Uh, so guys, if you have any question, I have been getting really awesome questions so far. Uh, so if you have any question, please ask. We'll, we'll really, really love to answer those questions. Um, please, uh, if you have any questions, please ask away. We would really love to answer those questions. So. Uh, this basically kind of, yeah, please go ahead. I can see from Pankaj, he has asked that you can create right. different permission levels to restrict data. Exactly. You can set up the roles and profiles and you can uh, kind of handle that portion. Economy means who can see what data and everything, what, what exactly they can do. Yes, definitely you can set up the permission and you can restrict that portion. Okay. Absolutely. So if you guys have any more questions, we would really love to answer. So are you all excited about this? The solution is kind of bringing all your business functions under one place. So are you guys excited about this? Because we are super excited to create this solution, you know. And once uh, so far, uh, the demonstration has gone really awesome. And uh, we are getting really good uh, feedback from um, the, from the uh, customers, our existing customers, uh, the audience whom we have presented it to. So if you have any questions that you'd love to answer, are you guys okay, excited Pankaj, about it? Pankaj, yeah. oh, Pankaj asked one more question that did you okay. design, did you use and design the business process for using workflows or so? Yes, workflows, there are some automations using workflows. We have defined that in, in Zoho CRM. And across the Zoho suit of apps, we have used Zoho Flow also to kind of integrate that portion. Okay. Right. 
And another exactly. beautiful thing about this uh, uh, solution is uh, uh, you may not need the entirety of the solution. You may need a part of it, right? So you can implement, go ahead and implement the part of it. You may need some other solution on top of this also. So you can then scale up. So scaling up and scaling down is super easy. Uh, thanks to Zoho's uh, very much user-friendly uh, platform. So any point in time, you can start small and then scale up or uh, you can start with with this and uh, build up on top of that also so it's it's super flexible so if you guys are uh, excited to uh, kind of uh, get deep into it, take take a one on one uh, demonstration. All you have to do is to kind of go to uh, glineconsulting.com, our website. Uh, you can get all details about the solutions that we, we are offering. And you can also check out our testimonial page over here. You can see. Uh, the customers, what they are seeing about us. This we have got uh, beautiful feedback from our customers so far. So we have been very fortunate that way. We got to uh, kind of work with some of the really awesome, awesome, awesome uh, business uh, uh, owners and managers uh, so far. So just carefully go through all these testimonials over here, see what are the kind of experience they have. And if you want to know uh, more about this, uh, this particular solution, if you want, to, uh, if you want kind of, uh, you can book a one on one session with myself and Debraj uh, for that, you can just click on this and go to the uh, meeting scheduler. We have three dedicated slots each day uh, just for uh, awesome people like you so that we can talk to the, you and understand the business use cases, um, your aspirations, how you want to scale your business, or maybe some of the areas where you are facing some ch challenges. So uh, you can simply go ahead and choose a date and time that is convenient for you and just click continue and you can uh, book your uh, one hour no obligation consultation with myself and Debraj where we'll sit together with you, understand your business process, uh, see what are your aspirations, how you want to grow your business, or maybe if you're facing some challenges in your business we'll see how we can uh, resolve this out so guys if you're excited just go ahead and go to our website uh, check out all the information and then uh, book a one-on-one -on -one session with myself and Debraj we'll really really love to take uh, understand your business process your aspirations really really help you in terms of growing your business and uh, nothing gives us more pleasure than this any any questions that uh, you have? Uh, uh, yes, of course, we'll be sending the webinar link, Pankaj, right after this meeting. Um, any questions? As in one user should not see Zoho sign templates of uh, other user, of course. So as I as I mentioned, Pankaj, in the in the beginning, that um, any any point in time you want to restrict data visibility, uh, you want to uh, kind of uh, create, you need to create different type of roles and profiles, uh, and we can restrict data visibility. So you can set peer level permission that I, my peers can see my data. You can ensure that my peers cannot see my data. You can set up hierarchy view that only my supervisor can see the information or the data that I am handling. Link. So um, permission level, uh, setting up permission level and roles profile is it's very versatile in, in all of the applications. So uh, we can definitely create roles and profiles like this. Uh, anyone have any more questions? Okay, if not, guys, uh, we will send you the webinar link, of course, a webinar um, a recording, of course, it generally takes us a little bit of time to kind of edit this part of it and uh, create a beautiful video that I can share across with you. Thank you so much for joining us. We really, really love the interaction, had a really great session. So to know more and uh, and to kind of get a in-depth one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation, please visit our website, www.jilai.com consulting.com you can just put jlineconsulting.com as well and before you go anywhere check out our testimonial case studies so you will know that what kind of uh, solution that we are building uh, what kind of uh, customers what kind of businesses we work with so that will give you more visibility about the way we work uh, and everything and then you can book a meeting thank you so much for uh, joining us today um, 
uh, Devraj, anything that you'd like to add? Um, thank you. No, thank you. That's all from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm, I, I'm absolutely looking forward to talk to all of you uh, in one-on-one -on -one sessions. So please go ahead. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we're very much looking forward. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.